Yeah, good day everybody on YouTube. I just want to share some information with you about a digital thermostat. It's called uh, a digital uh, temperature controller for uh, an, an thermostat. You can use it for aqu aquariums. You can use it for uh, for your brew. Um, when, when, when you're making your beer or, or, or anything like that. Um, I've got it currently hooked up on, on a 240 volt uh, fan heater. It's just a fan uh, and it's got a, a, a built in heater. It's for heating or cooling. This unit is uh, just hooked up in line with a, with a power cable that runs into the, the actual heater. Uh, the unit works on 220 volts. Uh, I purchased it on eBay. Um, you can use it for cooling as well. It works from uh, about minus 50 to 99 uh, degrees Celsius. Um, you get the ones that's in Fahrenheit as well, and you get some of them that's got different voltages, uh, 12 volt ones or 120 or 220 volts. Um, I've wired this one up and. The supply power on this one is 220 volt and the supply power to the fan also is 220 volt. The fan is uh, a 2000 watt uh, fan heater. Uh, the current draw on, on the, the, the relays on the inside of this uh, temperature controller uh, thermostat is a 10 amp uh, relay. So it can handle the, the power of a 2000 watt uh, fan. Currently I'm using this as, uh, this is my brew room where I make all my beer and just to maintain the heat uh, just to maintain the heat of, of, of my brew as it gets a little bit cold, cold in winter time I try to keep my temperature, room temperature about 25 or 26 degrees so it, it ferments out a bit quicker um, this is my fermenter where I got my beer in, it's busy fermenting out. This has been going on for about one day now and it's just bubbling very nicely away. The outside temperature, I'll have a quick look. The outside temperature is about 20, 23 degrees outside. Now I'm going to show you this uh, temperature controller. You can actually, it, it I've got it currently set for uh, 24 degrees. I've had a room open for quite a while. It's set for 24 and a half degrees, sorry. And I've got it set for a 1 degree variation. So if it drops down to uh, 23 and a half degrees, then the controller will kick in and the contact points on the actual uh, relay will close and the fan will uh, kick in and it will start heating up the room. And we'll, we'll maintain heat uh, up to about 24.5 degrees with uh, only one degree uh, difference. The differences between this uh, unit is you can, uh, the difference can be 0.3 to 10 degrees differences. So, for instance, if you set it on, um, if you want to use it for an incubator, you can set it at um, Seven, seven, 37 and a half degrees is the same as about uh, 99 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and if you set it at seven, 37 and a half degrees uh, you can s set the variation to 0.5 and it will kick in at 37 degrees and it will kick off at 37 and a half degrees so it's pretty cool it's only half a degree difference and you can use basically a whole room like this and it will maintain heat within a half a degree difference for this is my computer room which is only it's only a small room it's only probably about I would say about two and a half meters by by three meters uh, so it's, it's not a very large room but it's it's good enough if you've got a, a, a fan heater like this I'll show you um, a little kick in I'll uh, open up the door so we can get some cooler air into the room. Uh, it's winter time now currently. 
and I've got it set for 24 and a half degrees so I'll, I'll just let it, some cold air come in it will take a couple of minutes a couple of seconds actually I'll just show you how quick it actually uh, heats up the room and when it kicks in and when it will kick off when, it, when, it, when it's going to kick off also it's, it's got a little probe uh, excuse me it's got a little probe that's also wired in on the back side of it this is the actual diagram on the back of it so you can use it for heating or cooling it's got a power supply then it's got a sensor and it's got a, a the, the, the cooling part or the heating so it's got two uh, two uh, relays one is for heating and one is for cooling so it's, it's currently dropping down to 23.8 degrees 23.7 this is the wire that actually picks up the temperature of the room it's fairly very sensitive as well as you can see I just touched it with my finger and it's actually going up so when it gets to about 23.5 degrees the fan will automatically kick in it's set uh, for one degree difference so this room will maintain its heat between 23 and a half and about say 25 degrees which is only about one and a half degree difference so there it just kicked in you can probably hear the fan blowing so the light is on it shows it's heating I'll just close the door just try to show you guys how long it takes now this room is about like I said about two meters uh, about three meters and which is only a small little room but that's um, just where I'll, I'll, I'll let my beer ferment out that's why I'll try and keep it at a more steady temperature as it gets a little bit cold in winter uh, try and otherwise it slows down too much if you get it too cold the idle temperature it's about 24, 25 degrees and the fermentation will be a lot quicker I've got several uh, thermometers this one is showing 26 degrees because I had it, the fan running a couple of times so it, it overheats the room if you open it up too much got to maintain and uh, keep the door closed so that should one shows about 27 this one is right opposite a fan which is about 28 degrees so the probe's got a face actually the probe's got to face the back side of the fan so you don't get all that direct heat onto the probe so that's on 24.3 degrees now and it should kick off at 24.5 degrees they just kicked off now 24.5 degrees And this this is ideal if you got uh, want to make an incubator so you can use the whole room and just have your eggs you can just put it in in a box and it will maintain the whole room's heat without uh, a lot of variations you can set a variation of 0.3 degrees celsius to about 10 degrees celsius which is ideal and um yeah it's pretty good so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this and uh, maybe you picked up some little bit of information like I say this you can buy from eBay by about twenty dollars and it's not going to hurt you too much thanks for watching cheers